Yeah, absolutely. Um, we signed some pretty big names. We already have some great players on this team that we've been able to like kind of watch go out their business. It's pretty impressive. And, you know, man, I just think about like 20 years from now, looking back and telling my kids about stories of the great players that are on this team. So I'm, I'm excited to see what this team is doing. I think all of baseball is kind of watching and waiting to see what the 20 year to accomplish. The paper looks great, they're about play, and we kind of see what happens. To expect. I mean, Dodger fans are great, so they always show up. Um, yeah, this is insane. Yeah, I didn't know that they were shoulder to shoulder out there walking around. The fans are awesome. Yeah, it's just really good to be back now. I feel amazing. Uh, it's been a blessing having a full health offseason. Uh, it's probably the best I've had since 21. And, yeah, I, I mean, I'm just looking forward to getting going this spring training and getting competitive this going. Yeah, both concessions are going great. I'm not so bad. So I couldn't be more blessed to, to start, you know, 2020. I think as athletes, we were competitive in every aspect of life. I was competitive in my recovery. I was living in, like, you know, many miracle to come back quicker than what, you know, maybe the body allows you to. Uh, it just didn't work out that way. I tried. Um, I had some with like how I felt when I threw. It wasn't like pain or anything. I just, it didn't feel right. And um, eventually just got to the point where we had some conversation. Like, let's just have a healthy offseason and see where it goes. And then so that's the best decision we've ever made. I'm not happy about my performance. Uh, I never really felt like I was in a place to be who I wanted to be. But, you know, when you're going through, I've never really gone through this before. So, I know. What did you tell me about the I don't think the expectations have really changed. It, uh, we're always trying to pursue a championship. And, you know, we, we expect to win here. I mean, we work really, really hard, and they put us in good positions to have success. So, But to have the fans this excited, I've never been to a Dodgers So uh, it's, it's definitely kind of like, it kind of feels like you're ready for a game. Like, I'm ready for that door to open up and go to the I think it's been reps. Honestly, uh, my body, my heart, I have zero.
Like everyone talks about the starting rotation, the lineup, but how do you assess the bullpen as far as being a strength in the game? I mean, our, our bullpen has their back against the wall, they've you know, post up, when injuries have happened, uh, things before, maybe when people are kind of just like generalized the baseball media side of things, that's maybe you said, hey, we're not too sure about where things are going. Our guys have performed, and it's, it's a testament to how we develop players, the confidence the players put into each other, and um, the lineup, the way that they run the guys out there. Our guys, our guys are guys are just uh, easily go look at the last year to see how that's worked out. So I'm not, I'm not concerned that the big thing is just stay healthy. How, how excited are you about playing with Ohani? Oh, for the fourth time, I'm extremely excited. Yeah, he's, he's, I had a chance to meet him yesterday and um, just always, always happy. Like, he like brings an energy and like, it's just cool. It's a really nice guy, phenomenal player, obviously, so I'm excited. What kind of conversation did you have with him? Very brief, very brief. Uh, you know, I just kind of told him he's glad he's on our team um, and just looking forward to watching him. Talked a little bit about like how we faced each other a couple times and how I saw his first debut and his first at bat. Yeah, so. Always, it's always an honor to be able to play three players. How's your Japanese? Not good. Not good. I, I worked on it. I actually told him welcome to the team in Japanese. I'm not going to do it here. But he said it was actually good, so I'm, I'm grateful for it. Can you talk about your off Yeah, so um, during COVID, we actually had to get our own gym. Um, so I walked out to our shop every day, worked out, threw against the wall. Um, my wife was like full mom status, so I could get my you know two hours in a day. and then. Um, and then throwing, when that throwing started ramping up a little bit longer. My kids, it's actually kind of cool. It's like the transition in my life. My kids have come out a little bit. I had to learn to balance, like, not having anxiety of, like, a weight falling or something, you know. But, you know, that's, it, was, it was really nice. Just a normal off-season of, like, being able to live normal. Yeah, I feel, I feel great. Yeah, I do feel really good. Do you think Ohio brought any kind of thought to the team I don't know, it's too early, but he will. I mean, he's a great player. Um, the acquisitions we've made, every great player we've signed has always brought something that's like intangible beyond their talent. So I, I already know he will. I've, I've heard from guys that have played with him, like how, how good the team he is, how, how his work ethic is a great leadership. Uh, some people eat through their actions, some people eat through their words. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't, I couldn't answer that question directly, but that's, that's my best guess. I, I know he will. Yeah. Heading into the first couple of weeks of spring training, given the fact that there's so many new players on this team, how do you go about balancing building team, team chemistry, but also the physical preparation that comes with the beginning of spring training? How do I balance building yeah. team chemistry? And, and the physical preparation of heading into spring training. I think I just rely on how I've done it for the last like 12 years, um, you know, through minor league spring training, a couple of little you know, camps. Team chemistry, you know, guys here, they're easy to get along with. We just care about winning, you know, like, Treating each other with respect, treat the game with respect, and they're just gonna win. You know, because there's we wanna we wanna have a great product for, for the fan base. And you know, fan base wants a great product, so there's like this we feed off of the fans and we feed off of each other. And I don't I think chemistry is always something that's easy to get here. Yeah.